What's going on guys, it's Trinity Creations. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I've, if you want to see a video on this uh, rack, um, go ahead and see my last video. I just posted it. Um, and go ahead and share it, um, You know, like it, do all that for me please. And um, I, today I wanted to show you all of my ball pythons. Um, I only have three right now. And I'm getting a king snake in just a bit, which I'm going to be putting in this rack as well. But what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to increase um, the amount of substrate in the back just so that the heat coming up from the heat tape is not going to be as, as much. So I'm just kind of going to put some more stuff at the bottom just so that the heat isn't at 93. Um, I spoke to a couple people and they said that's going to be fine and I am ordering a separate uh, heat pad and thermostat for my kink snake. This is just going to be temporary because it's on its way this week. Uh, I'll be making a video on that. Uh, for an unboxing, but um, let's start with um, my two spiders and then my other one So first off, I'm going to show you the mama. So she uh, She has laid once in her life. She's a 2019 uh, Spider het pied. She's a little feisty. So let's see if she'll be okay for today So this is her right here She's a very beautiful snake. Uh, she's just a spider pride. There she goes. She's really upset. But that's all right. She's, I don't think she's gonna strike. Um, as you can see, there's not really any hep pide markers at all. Um, there might be one right there, right on her nose. If you see right there, that little mark on her tail, that could be a hep pide marker, but you know, can't really tell. Um, she, I don't think that she was handled a lot by the previous owner, um, but you know, she has not uh, bit me at all. Um, she's a really beautiful snake. Nonetheless, she's got a little bit of a bug eye going on, but as you can see, there's little to no head wobble at all. So that's good. And uh, once she's out of her uh, tank, she's actually really calm. She's 1100 grams right now. And she laid uh, six eggs for me or not for me, but her previous owner um, when he had her. So she's doing pretty great. And next up is my other spider head pied. He's a little nicer. This guy is actually coming on uh, two years old now. And he's just a little guy. Looks like a little baby ball python. Um, he has not wanted to eat for me at all. But luckily, um, I have started to get an... Uh, him able to eat now he's doing really good now and he's starting to put on a lot of weight and a lot of size um, really beautiful snake um, basically the same thing as the other one also a hundred percent head pied and as you can see I mean I don't know if you would call any of those head pied markers but to me I don't think they are um, but it is a hundred percent head pied really nice oranges and yellows and everything really beautiful snake now let me show you the pied so this right here is the uh, pied ball python and he's doing really great as you can see he's kind of the same size as my almost two year old male um, he was a little reluctant to eat at first as well but he's now doing really great i can zoom in on him for you guys there you go really beautiful snake really high oranges um he's just a regular pied um but he was bred with a hundred percent his parents are a hundred percent het lavender um pos het clown and then the father was a hundred percent het clown so um, it does have the possibilities to be a triple gene in the future to produce some triple gene animals um, triple recessive with a lavender albino and clown which would be amazing um, and I did find a website not a website a university that's actually looking into ball python genetics which is really cool because they started this amazing project with like uh, the shed skin of the snakes and I'm gonna make another video on that pretty soon. Um, 
that'll explain basically what their process is and everything. So if you want to see that, I'll be posting it sometime next week. Poshet Lavender, Poshet Clown. Just a regular pied with some really deep oranges. There he is, guys. So if you like this video, um, go ahead, share, comment, subscribe, like. Uh, my TikTok and my Instagram are also the same as my YouTube, Trinity Exotics, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Trinity Creations. So go ahead and give me a follow on there as well if you like this video. And you guys have a wonderful day.